So for today, we're going to be looking at the tactical sets for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, I have decided to make some themed videos. We're going to start with tactical sets because A, those are my favorite sets to make and it's going to bleed into other other themed sets as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm thinking about doing enemy type themes. So uh, Fallen, Cabal, like that type of thing. So that way I can see how much I can push myself to make some cool sets for each of the classes because yeah it's gonna be rough considering i think cabal have it the worst because like i think i don't think there's any armor aside from season pass armors that are cabal themed so yeah it's gonna be rough but i'm gonna challenge myself to do some of these themed videos um not only that but we're also going through the into the light update i've already got the class items which is not hard it's level four um but getting all of that armor is gonna take a while considering you have to basically level up shacks all the way but once I get all that armor, we're going to do the basic uh, review armor, shader video, and then the class specific videos as well. And then probably a little bit more just because that armor is a little bit special because it is a free armor that we're getting from a free update. So I kind of want to push that armor as much as I can because I do think it's really cool. But yeah, I have a lot of content. I Again, I apologize that I haven't been posting as much as I really want to. It's just, again, second job, kind of tired. Uh, like today, I took a, I could t I took a nap at work, uh, which was great because uh, it helped me actually get started with some of the videos that I have to make today. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate it. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. It really does help. Other than that, let's look at the hunters. So to start off, I'm going with a safe option, which is going to be the Serechnid's facade. This is like visually it's cool i was gonna say it's one of my favorite looking but it really isn't it is cool but for this one i decided to go more into a tactical slash fallen look which is why we're using the steeplechase vest with the interlaced strides the cloak i could have ended up using something else but i ended up going with canis luna just because i like it a lot and then valkyrie uh, or vicarian grips sorry i'm i'm going blind <laughs> And for the shader, Lucid is what we're going for. So I actually really like this set a lot. Uh, for tacticalness, it, it's all in the chest piece and the helmet. I think those two are going to be the pieces where it's going to be like the most obvious. And the arms and boots are more fallen themed for me personally. Now, I will say I probably would have just switched these arms out for something else because as much as I like the Vicarian grips, it just doesn't meld well with the other pieces now like i always say in videos like this i tend to like to post my failures as well or the ones that are not as great as the others just because again it shows that i'm not perfect and it also just shows where my head's going so i definitely like where my head's going with this so a tactical uh fallen theme is pretty cool again i would just probably switch out the arms and maybe even the boots even though the boots really do give off that fallen theme more splicer but splicer fallen makes more sense to me in my head and the cloak definitely would switch out for something a little bit more tactical as well as for the next set i've posted this one when the nucleosynthetic sheath ornament came out for the caliban's hand and yeah i didn't i didn't really switch anything out i think i'm just reusing the same set because again i think it's amazing helmet eidolon pursuant mask i think goes really well with this it has a like a microphone on the side gas mask tactical as hell veritas mask or veritas vest with the thunderhead strides i think is such a good combination because the veritas vest is so like small and not tactical well, it is kind of tactical because it does have stuff in the front but it's more like just very thin when you combine it with the thunderhead strides it almost looks like it's made for each other and then the psionic stalker cloak because uh there's glow in this and i wanted to keep that as well and then the nucleosynthetic sheet i think just looks really cool and adds more of a techno uh tactical set which i is kind of the theme that i was going for for this one so i love this one a lot this is probably my favorite set if i'm being quite honest just because the helmet lends itself really well to tactical sets the cloak as well that like camera slash like maybe a flashlight on this on the top is really cool but the boots and the chest piece really make it as well as for the shader we're going to be using Ga gambit celadon just because the like if you see the hands right above like at the wrist you guys will see this like orange glow that's actually not part of gambit celadon although that is the color that you'll you're looking at for the helmet and cloak 
the nucleosynthetic sheath that glow specifically does not change color so that's the color you're going to stick with so my recommendation would be to get a shader that goes well with that orange or you could just ignore it if you're psychotic as for the next set we're going to be utilizing dark age cloak which is one of my favorite cloaks in the game it would actually be my favorite cloak if it didn't have the axes in the back but for the boots sonic stalker strides chest piece deep explorer vest for the arms diamond spawn grips and then for the helmet we're going to be using the nine days slash nights ornament for the knucklehead radar for the shadering cryptic insignia specifically because well it's funny that i put cryptic insignia in here because cryptic insignia has the same color as the like holographic visor that the nine days slash nights uh ornament has so if you really wanted to you could switch out the second set's exotic which was caliban's hand with the nine days slash nights and then it put cryptic insignia in there and it's gonna look absolutely amazing obviously you would have to put some arms that either have a glow or are really good like the diamond sworn grips i would probably just put those in there or something smaller so probably the armor from uh, europa that would be really good as well so i definitely like this one i just think that if you put if you put glows in this one it would look even better because again the cryptic insignia shader will have that glow that has that the nine day slash nights has and it looks really really cool and then last but not least we are going for the eight thousand dollar ornament for the frosties now this one is much more of a <sighs> ice climber tactical i guess you would say just because the eight thousander has that like the shoes has like that spikes that help with uh traversing snow but also the the amount of rope in this where it's like obviously if you're climbing mountains you're gonna want as much rope as you want or as you can carry because again you're gonna be climbing and then what really holds it together for me is the hardened basilisk cloak with the crystal cream cowl i think both of these are amazing specifically kristen cream you have that that uh, mic on right there but the hardened basilisk really looks like something out of uh like a snowy attire and then for the arms forbidden visage grips honestly uh for the asymmetry i really liked the asymmetry for this one and i really just like that about this whole set because again a lot of this is asymmetrical it's leaning a little bit more on the right side but the way that my head kind of goes about it is the fact that like the rope on the chest piece is on the left side so it kind of like carry it kind of makes sense not only that the cloak if i remember correctly is on the left side so it also equals out it's just that's how my head kind of like makes it make sense and then for the shader and iron bone is just literally one of my favorite shaders for pretty much any set that i make just because the like chrome color is so good and then the cloth art cloth color is just amazing so that is pretty much it let me know what you guys think i was thinking about making a separate video about uh showing you the tactical sets that all the classes have but unfortunately um i don't think that video would be popular let me know in the comments if you would like me to do that video um i could also talk about some of the pieces in this set that are unobtainable and obtainable i could i should have probably have done that but at the same time i mean you can always ask me the hardened basilisk stuff i think is going to be the thing that is not obtainable because well, it's from a season pass that's not here anymore. And I think, oh, the Psionic Stalker Strides as well. That's another one that's not available anymore. Um, I'm looking through the, through the sets right now. And the Interface Strides as well. Plus the Steeplechase stuff as well. So there is quite a few pieces that are tactical pieces, but unfortunately are not available anymore. So if you see Hardened Basilisk chest, pl chest Plate, then just assume you're going to want to combine it with something else. Because the Hardened Basilisk, not Chestplate, but the Hardened Basilisk set in, in general, that set's un unobtainable. The, like I said, the ones I said are on. I could probably just go back and switch them out, but I just wanted to make tactical sets. If you want me to do a, I guess, non paid version, I could do that because we do still have some pretty good tactical sets that are world drops, or in the case of some dungeon sets as well, specifically the Dark Age set and the deep explorer set as well so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later